hey, we're going to do a proof. We're told that if a over b is equal to c over d, and that's equal to e over f, shoo that, this is true. So why does it say shoo <laughs> instead of show? Um, I don't actually know. I should have done some research on that before uh, making this video, but I'm just sitting here doing some math, and I've got a book with me. It's a really old book. It's called Higher Algebra by Holland Knight, and this is an example in the book, so we're gonna try to prove it. And the author tends to use the word shoe. I'll leave a link in the description to the book in case you wanna check it out. It's super inexpensive because there's like a gazillion copies on the internet, and I'll try to find some and leave some links. It's got like really interesting algebra problems, hence the name Higher Algebra, so. Smells really good. Originally written in the 1800s, by the way. My copy is from 1960. The older editions are like super expensive, so I got a newer copy. All right, so let's go ahead and prove this. Proof. So we're going to assume this is true, so let's give this a name. So I'm gonna say set k equal to a over b equal to c over d equal to e over f, just so we have a name for it, okay? And then we need to um, show this is true. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite the numerator, right? We wanna express the numerator uh, using other variables. So let's go ahead and take each of these and solve for the numerator. So I'm gonna solve this for A, solve for C, solve for E. To solve for A, we have K equals A over B, so you multiply by uh, B. So then, so then we have A equals um, B times K. C equals D times K. Again, just multiply by D. E equals F times K. And then now let's go ahead and carefully write this down. So I'm gonna be very, very careful. So I'm gonna write it down again, the whole thing. So then um, A cubed B plus two C squared E minus three A E squared F over, I'm just copying it again and being very, very careful, b to the fourth plus 2d squared f minus 3b f cubed. Okay, and then this should work out. It should be equal to ace over bdf. And the reason I know that is because I did, uh, I proved the general case, and when you prove the general case of the statement, it's a similar process. So this is like supposed to be a special case, so this should work. So I'm gonna write it down here so it's easier to see. So a cubed b, so that's gonna be, you cube the a, so it'll be b cubed k cubed. So b cubed k cubed, and then we have the b, okay? Plus two c squared, so that'll be d squared k squared. And then we still have the e. Minus three a, a is bk. E, E is, oh, you know what? You know what, I messed up here. Look, we know what E is, don't we? E is FK, so this is FK, right? Then minus three, A is BK, okay? E squared, that's gonna be F squared K squared. Pretty sneaky, right? And then F is just F. Wow, okay, that's a mess. I'm just gonna write this down here, then we'll look at that again. B to the fourth plus two D squared F minus three BF cubed. So just a lot to keep track of, right? With all of these variables, it's like, whoa, what is going on here, right? So it's really easy to get lost. Let's clean it up. So here we've got a K cubed and a B to the fourth. So I'm gonna pull out the K cubed, B to the fourth. Here we also have a K cubed, okay? And we, we'll, if we pull it out, we're left with plus two D squared F minus three Pull out the k cubed again, b and then f cubed over the bottom, which is b to the fourth, plus two d squared f minus three b f cubed. Oh, success. That's the feeling of success. It's equal to k cubed, right? What's k cubed? Well, k is equal to this, right? So it's actually going to be, we have to show it's equal to a, c, e, b, d, f. So again, we know, just write it here so you see it, we know that a over B is equal to C over D is equal to E over F. We know this. And we have to show that this is equal to ACE over BDF. So what we're gonna do is basically write it as KKK or ABCDEF. So it's basically just AB, CD, EF, 
Oh yeah, it's KQ because it's three three Ks, and that's just ACE over BDF, and that completes that completes the proof. So kind of fun, just a, a random problem that I wanted to do, and so I thought I would turn the camera on and show you this book. So cool book, cool problem, very fun. Yeah. Until next time, good luck.